My dad loved his sports, especially football. It so happened in our neighborhood there were enough boys to field two four-on-four teams, and when we talked dad into being all-time quarterback, we could play in our side yard for hours. Now, unfortunately for my father, I was a bit athletically challenged, but he was also very patient, and he took every opportunity to help me along, to teach me those things that he thought I needed to know. I remember one particular day, I had muffed the tackle badly. And he took me aside later that afternoon. He said, you know, I noticed that when Bobby came at you, you tried to tackle him with just your arms. That won't work. You need to use your whole body and drive through the tackle. Okay. Well, let me show you. I want you to take the football and pretend you're the running back and come at me. Now, mind you, my father is six foot, 210, and still in incredibly great shape at this point in his life. I'm probably 10 years old and a good 80 pounds soaking wet. But he was my dad. Why not? And so I tucked the ball in my stomach like he had showed me and put my head down and ran at him and at the last second tried to juke around him and he hit me (laughs) so hard that I hit the ground and the wind was knocked out of me. If you've never experienced the wind getting knocked out of you, it's quite a trauma. You can't breathe. Since it never happened to me before, I thought I was dying. But then eventually, once he calmed me down, the breath came back and I slowly began to breathe again. I don't know about you, but COVID has knocked the wind out of me. I think it's probably knocked the wind out of all of us in some way or another, whether emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually, economically, politically. It's had its effect. It's left us breathless, wheezing at best. But there's good news. The vaccine is being rolled out. For the first time in almost a year, there is hope that we will see the other side and we can breathe again. In fact, I'm already starting to feel a little lighter in my chest. But we need to be careful that we recognize that we will not all emerge from this experience the same. Some of us have done a great deal of soul searching during this time, readjusting priorities, lifestyles, all manner of things, cleaning house. Life will be different. For others, they will emerge from this time of isolation, hoping to get back to the way life was before it started. The sooner the better and perhaps even before it's advisable. A return to normal, that's what we need. Except that normal world no longer exists. And then for others, COVID has been a nightmare. And they will emerge angry and frustrated and broken. We need to recognize this because we need to live together. And these are all normal reactions to crisis. 
I think that's why following Jesus death and resurrection the first thing he does is he shows up among the disciples they're huddled for fear in the upper room and he comes among them and says shalom y'all peace be with you and the first thing he does is to breathe on them the ruach adonai the breath of god it is that breath that blew over the chaos of creation and brought forth order, light, and life. It is that Ruach Adonai, that breath of God that breathed into the nostrils of our primordial parent. It is that breath of God that Jesus breathes into the church, into his disciples, and into us, that we might have life again, that we might breathe again on this side of COVID. There will be much work to do, but we are not alone in our efforts. The Holy Spirit continues to call, gather, enlighten, strengthen, and keep us together as the one holy church. Breathe, my friends, breathe deeply that that spirit may bring healing as well as hope as we learn to breathe together once again. Gracious Spirit, heed our pleading, fashion us all anew. It's your leading that we're needing, help us to follow you. Guide our thinking and our speaking, done in your holy name. Motivate all in their seeking, freeing us from guilt and shame. Not mere knowledge, but discernment, not ruthless liberty. Turn disquiet to contentment, doubt into certainty. Come, 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 Holy Spirit, come, 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 Holy Spirit.